Well, good morning to you guys. Uh, this video will talk about the conditional formatting and uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos on the conditional formatting, please watch that. Go to my playlist and uh, uh, I have uh, categorically, uh, you know, uh, actually displayed there around uh, 40 or I think it's 42 videos on the Excel only and you can watch those videos according to, you know, by checking the uh, title of the video right so th this is gonna be my I think uh, fourth or fifth video on the conditional formatting and uh, as usual I'm trying to make this very interesting and you can so that you know you can use this in your office uh, because this is a more of a very you know general requirement you may feel actually uh, this requirement uh, you know to m make your data look very you know elegant and uh, in fact from the analysis perspective and from the presentation perspective it really looks good so what we are actually going to do is uh, we are going to actually color those uh, values where we have the combination of date and customer and sold items you know uh, getting repeated for example if I have on 12th uh, 12th of April if my this company ABC uh, has sold this item so so I want to check that if they have again did this you know on the same date so maybe uh, if I come just a little down and I I can check that here on 12th but this is not a sold item is chair so it's not a soap so it it should actually not count for that uh, but here yeah it should be highlighted so these two items should be highlighted actually right so um, let me couple of things let me do a couple of things uh, maybe I I should change couple of things and uh, right so now what we actually uh, we are going to do is uh, we are going to create their combination by combining them together right so I'm gonna combine them like this so I'm, I'm gonna make their a unique actually combination by concatenating them right so once I have all the values together now what I want is that uh, I want to count their check you know I want to count their uh, basically this uh, this uh, how many times actually it is being repeated so I'll use the range and I'll give the this criteria and uh, so what will happen is eventually uh, let me just freeze first the range so in this range uh, whatever the items are being repeated I'll get their count right now please do uh, do take a note that uh, this actually doing the count if the function on this range not somewhere here not the date not the customer not the sold this is actually checking the count for those items uh, where we have actually combined them you know we have concatenated date customer sold items and everything so we'll have a unique value over there and there we are actually checking uh, you know checking their actually individual count under this range so it means what actually it means is that if if I'm seeing this four uh, mega limited so then it means that let me just highlight this let me just make this bold this item is actually getting repeated here four times right I can check from here so that's how this is this is going to be repeated here same date uh, same customer and uh, same sold item right and uh, similarly uh, this one here as well let me just bold this and let me just bold this as well and what else we have the four numbers here so yeah so here the last one is right so if I'm gonna change this to maybe uh, something let's say uh, I'll say sugar okay you can see that the count is actually getting reduced right so um, what we actually want to do is all those items which are repeated which are getting repeated they should be highlighted so let's do the now the conditional formatting and we it is not just on the individual parameter it is actually on the entire you know the combination of the parameters so do one thing uh, just select this range and go to the conditional formatting and go to the manage rules and click on the new rule and go to the use the formula to determine right this is what actually a kind of a conditional formatting I teach in my classes um, in fact even more than that so here what you need to do is you need to write a formula uh, which the formula either you can copy it since we have already prepared it uh, so I could write it directly as well but let me just copy this since I have already created a formula okay so once again I'll select this entire table because here I want to do the coloring and I'll go to the new rule maybe you can go to the manage rule and then go to the user formula determine whatever way I'm in suit you so here I'm gonna write equals to and this now this if this is greater than one so if this outward which means that um, I'll freeze the d2 to d16 bit because that's my table actually and every time I want that um, under this table only the count has to be checked and uh, instead of uh, you know uh, 
freezing this D2, I'll just I'm just keeping it open so that when this formula drag, then you know uh, instead of D2, then D3 should be checked, then D4, D5, and so on uh, till D16, right? So what color you want to provide? That's your choice. Um, for me, I guess um, if it is a something which I want to see is an alarm because the actually uh, you know for example if, if, if you're in an industry or where you're maintaining this data on the same date uh, same customer uh, cannot you know uh, actually uh, uh, you know uh, this uh, sold the same item right uh, because if I have already sold a soap item on the same date uh, but the same company then it doesn't make any sense for me to repeat the same so I'm just assuming it right so in that case if you want to put it as a kind of alarm you can actually definitely use the you know this color and uh, otherwise you can choose any color I mean to say that's entirely up to you what exactly is your requirement so you can even change the color to this white okay and you can make this bold because that's a font color actually which you're gonna choose uh, may maybe you can strike it just in, in case if you want let me just show you and then we'll press ok and as you can see here that you know this uh, these dates are actually getting highlighted so they they are the dates which are actually getting repeated basis the customer and the sold item right that makes sense to you and you can check you can check from here otherwise uh, you know that the one is not being highlighted the three is highlighted three is highlighted this two is highlighted and this uh, three 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 and you know this everything is highlighted so later on <coughs> maybe you can actually hide this and you, you know this is how you can actually maintain your data so what will happen is that on 12th April if, if I'm if I'm going to just copy this and if I'm going to put it over here maybe anywhere else maybe let me put this here see what will happen you can see that you know this is actually highlighted because of the fact that the ABC soap company has again repeated on the same date right so I'm just undoing it so what if you want to actually I was just thinking that uh, it would look you know uh, much nicer if instead of this one cell you can actually uh, highlight the entire you know the row right so maybe we can do one thing we can just go again and uh, we can unhide this uh, let's check how we can actually do it uh, why don't we just delete this clear rules <coughs> from the selected cells so formatting has gone now so now <coughs> what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna select this okay and I'm gonna go in the new rule and here I'm gonna write the same thing which is count if and <coughs> that's gonna be my range and sorry comma and this should be greater than one and let me just remove the dollar from here I hope you understand the significance of dollar it actually freezes the sale and this time so we are doing the second exercise in the same video right uh, so let me just use the the same color and uh, white okay and uh, let me just copy this formula so that I can apply again on the so that's done and now let's go to this and let's go to the new rule again and this time again let me just apply this formula here okay the same formula because D and E uh, D, uh, this range is not gonna change right because I have actually used the formula over here so this will remain as it is so again the same color you can choose uh, this one red and you can give this color again a white and you can press ok and say ok and now now the thing is uh, this time it is not working right so why it is not working this is something is actually quite interesting to see so uh, let's check what exactly we are doing here so I'll go to the manage rule and okay so I have got the problem did you see that uh, unfortunately we got the things in the coach so that thing that's something but should not be there right so uh, so let's uh, click on the apply and this is how you'll get the things back right so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna select this as well and I'm gonna go to the new rule <coughs> again and I'm going to 
with this formula again equals to and I'll say OK and I guess we have again the same problem there so go to the new rule uh, not the new rule but the manage rule and okay so we have all the things I think properly placed okay I I'm sorry I didn't actually color the cell right I just forgot and uh, copy this one and say okay say apply right so <coughs> this is how uh, you can actually do this so uh, <coughs> here you can uh, choose the same color uh, by mistake I think I chosen some different color but we can always you know do this kind of a stuff in the conditional formatting and now you can actually see that uh, if I'm just gonna hide this so maybe if I change this date to like this today is 4th of May and uh, maybe this will change this to let's say 14 so this combination is not repe getting repeated here so that's why you know it is actually removing this color you know so uh, I hope you like the video this uh, this is a very good tip in case if you want to uh, generally uh, you might have uh, you know so far um, uh, your requirement was to actually color only just one column basis you know uh, the one column the values if they are getting actually repeated for example if I am writing here like some names over here and if I want to check that you know how, ma how many times you know what exactly is being repeated here should be colored you know so you might have used that conditional formatting quite basic but this is a more of a you know intermediate level of conditional formatting uh, in which we are actually checking the combinations right so but yeah um, again I'm uh, advising you guys uh, here that there is a difference of color because we have chosen a different color however <coughs> let me just show you if you choose the same color then it would it would be good actually so instead of this uh, let me go to this and let me choose the correct color so that it, it should match with the other items you know yeah so that's how you can do it right so uh, keep on changing the dates and you'll come to know that you know that the combination we are not seeing any combination so that's why that's because of which you know so now you have just two um, two items which are actually rep uh, getting repeated so in case if I'm just go going to copy this here and I'm going to paste somewhere here it will automatically be you know going to uh, convert it into this red color and the reason being because we have already automated this you know we have already automated this uh, the formulas are left here we have not you know done the paste value so the formula is automatically going to pick so that's it for now guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and this is my email ID and uh, let me know in case if you have some concerns on Excel or VB or MS Access database I'll try to upload and share the videos and do let me know in case if you're looking for some really really very advanced Excel training and uh, you know the VBA training thank you so much bye bye